Hello, and welcome to Learning by Teaching. I'm your host, Henry Nolden. Uh, today's segment, my very first, as it turns out, is something I want to call, well, Today I Learned, where I present something that I learned today that I found rather interesting or didn't know about before. So I'm driving back to New Mexico and going through Oklahoma, I decided to stop at Sequoia's cabin. Sequoia was a Cherokee Indian who was born in 1765 and is well most famous for having created a, a written form of the Cherokee language, an alphabet and a syllabary, which was used as a basis for, well, their entirety of their uh, written works from about 1821 onwards. So I want to focus on three things that I learned today that I did not know about. Uh, the first is that Sequoia was a veteran of the War of 1812. I did not know about that. He was in his late 30s when the war came out, and he enlisted uh, two times, uh, <clears throat> October of 1813 and January of 1814 where he would participate in the Battle of Horseshoe Bend alongside Sam Houston under the command of Andrew Jackson. Didn't know about that. thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, upon his discharge from the Army, he uh, married a, a woman named of Sally Waters and moved west. At that point, he had been working on his syllabary project for about... Uh, three years, and it would take a total of 12 years for him to finally finish his analysis and the creation of a written alphabet. <clears throat> so he would create it, he learned to write, and it would tra translate stuff into it and taught his daughter the same, which would get him and his daughter uh, pulled up on charges of witchcraft in the 1820s. The uh, chiefs were sus and the, his neighbors were suspicious about what he was doing so they separated him and his daughter and forced them to write messages to each other uh, upon which they decided it was not witchcraft that it was a written language and it so impressed the judges that they all asked to learn his new language his new alphabet with their support um, he was able to widely distribute the, uh, the, write the style of writing, the syllabary and according to what I learned in the museum, within a year, the about 90% of the Cherokee nation was fluent in this written form of Cherokee, which, again, was I, it was incredibly impressive, especially for the time period. There's been few populations before or since that have managed such high levels of literacy. The last thing I learned uh, was that, well, the last thing I want to Draw attention to. I learned more than just this, but for the sake of video, I'm keeping it down to three. But was that Sequoia disappeared in 1843 at the age of, I want to say, 77. He left for Mexico to track down a band of a band of Cherokees, and on this trip, he vanished. No one knows what happened to him. Nobody. He was presumed dead when they found some of his effects in a cave, but they never found the man himself. So he's not, no one knows where his grave is. No one knows uh, when he died or how he died. So again, I had no idea. So that's what I learned today. I hope you found this interesting as well. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.